Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with part two of the recap of the arranged war against Holder Clashers. Um, you guys can check out uh, my last video if you want uh, my thoughts on the war. Um, just want to reiterate though, it was a great uh, job by uh, Holder Clashers getting the win. We struggled, but that's not going to take anything away from their win because uh, they got it done for sure. Um, basically, I left off midway through the Town Hall 9s, I believe. Showed one or two Town Hall 9 attacks, so I'm going to get to the rest of them as well as some Town Hall 8 attacks in this part 2 of my uh, recap. One thing I want to say real quick is I'm doing a, another Q&A video, so make sure to drop some questions for me to answer. I've already picked out a few that I haven't yet answered uh, from previous videos, so go ahead and drop some. I won't answer them in the comment section, but uh, you might see them in my uh, video uh, if, I, if I choose not to answer them in the comment section. So make sure to drop some good questions for me and uh, that video should be coming out fairly soon so stay tuned for that one anyway though we're starting off with XM and someone told me this attack was called blue coops or something I don't know I forget what it was called but there's a name for it um, all names are kind of arbitrary though for clash attacks anyway though XM uh, doing whatever it's called doing a nice job on it uh, kind of a seven healer uh, Pekka walk with some surgical hogs basically it's dropping down the queen creating a funnel for her She's going to go in there, pop the ability, take out the enemy queen, uh, get a few point defense as well, and then she'll take out that golem. Uh, I'm going to take just a second for her to take down the golem. Goes ahead and drops a few hogs on that cannon uh, just to get it taken out. So the hogs will get in there and get the job done on the cannon. Then the queen will get through this golem in just a moment and continue on her walk. Uh, so you can see that one hog there gets the job done, and then it goes over and gets shot down by the archer tower. But anyway, uh, that last golem is going to go down in just a moment. Uh, Queen's still at full health. There wasn't really any point defense on her while she was taking care of the golem. Uh, coming in here with <clears throat> coming in here with uh, the giants now with three healers on them. Then the Pekka out of the CC. Uh, so very heavy composition with a lot of healers keeping all that stuff at full health and basically just letting them walk around the base. Uh, so very cool stuff there. You can see uh, dropped the jump down nice and early. Uh, the goal is for everything just to continue walking. Queen steps up, steps up and takes out that air defense. That's pretty huge that the air defense is in range uh, because uh, otherwise it would have shot down all seven of those healers or at least quite a few of them. Uh, the queen continues to follow all those troops around into the base. Um, she does target a wall right here, but she, or then she eventually reroutes back on in. Drops the rage down, that's to keep everything going. And then uses these surgical hogs just to flank the point defense. Uh, when, once they're distracted, drops a few hogs on each defense few hogs in that cannon when it's targeting uh, some of those troops, then a few in the Tesla, etc. Just working his way around the base. Pretty much none of his troops have even, have even died at this point. Uh, you can see us giants, his P.E.K.K.A., King, Queen, all pretty much full health. A few healers go down, but at this point, it does not even matter. He has seven of them, and that air defense actually does go down, so it still keeps a lot of them. Uh, the King making his way through. Uh, you can, everything's pretty much at full health right here. <clears throat> uh, so making its way around. Dropping some wizards uh, to already start clean up, and then a few wizards on the back end of the base to get it started uh, on that side. But I mean, look at this. What's this? Five healers or something? Six healers, all still up. Everything at full health. A very powerful attack if you use it on the right base. Um, just basically making a little bit of a circular uh, roundabout on the base with the the giants, the king, the queen, the healers, the Pekka, and then uh, coming in with surgical hogs just on the defenses once they're distracted. Very effective. Uh, great attack to XM. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Alright, we're going to keep moving. Taking a look at number... I believe it was 18 if I'm not wrong. Yeah, uh, Pelade taking on 18. Um, coming at it with a Queen Walk, Go Vaho. Very nice stuff there. Uh, you can see just dropping down a few minions, creating the funnel. Uh, going to drop down the Queen in just a moment for the Queen Walk. The army camp's conveniently there to help create the funnel. Push her uh, to the right side of the base where he's going to wall breaker her in and uh, let her start moving into the core of the base and taking out some possible double giant bomb spots. You can see the healers go down right here. Good placement on them. Going to keep them out of range of that air defense. Now coming in with the wall breakers, a few test wall breakers, and then busts in right there. Um, the king isn't engaged, but uh, the point, one point defense goes down, so doesn't have to use the ability. The king will go down. Uh, without any help from a rage or ab ability or anything like that. And the queen, the queen can continue her walk uh, after the king goes down. 
Uh, so in a moment, I'll step up and take the, out that air defense. The goal here is just taking out some possible double giant bomb spots. Uh, he's going to come in with the king separately with the Valks and the king, a little kill squad on the top there to take out some more of the base. Uh, but for right now, the queen's just walking her way through. And he does drop a rage uh, in just a moment right uh, here. I don't think he needed it. He has the poison for the CC troops. Those archers are going to die real fast. Uh, you can see the queen's health isn't even an issue. So I think he could have gotten away with uh, not using the rage there because the queen actually does go down later in the attack because he didn't have enough to keep her up. So maybe not the best use there, but better safe than sorry, I guess, especially early on when you need her to take out more defenses and clear out some double giant bomb spots. Uh, coming in with the golem up top, a few wizards creating the funnel, uh, normal stuff there, then the wall breakers to let the golem on in, followed by the king. You can see he uses the ability on the queen right there, but even though uh, he used the ability, the level 10 queen uh, can't stay up with all those defenses on her. She goes down, uh, so had he still had that rage, uh, the queen would have stayed up and taken out some more defenses, but still got pretty good value for her. You can see the king coming in with the Valks. They're going to make their way on in. He's going to drop a jump to let them get to the enemy queen. Coming in with a few hogs here. Doesn't want to leave that awkward chunk of the base up. Although they do hit that spring and then the, the air defense stays up. No big deal though. Uh, the king's making his way through. Valks are pretty much at full health. He went ahead and dropped a heal for them. So they're doing great. Uh, you can see all these wizard towers at the bottom. Pretty important that he has a heal for that. Because the splash damage of the wizard towers. Plus all those little small bombs this guy put in there. Is going to do a lot of damage on the hogs. So it has a good heal for them right there. And then you can see they're taking out these last few defenses. Uh, but this base is pretty much done for. Has a lot of Valks, plus the king's still up. So um, not really an issue for cleanup. And uh, his troops will make their way around with a nice little spread on them and get the three star. So good attack to Paylade. All right, two town hall, or three town hall eight attacks. Uh, starting with number 31. Uh, where are we? Vanilla Thunder taking on 31 and a uh, bit of a holo uh, a few balloons few hogs and even some golems so very nice there coming in with uh, three balloons just not an uh, easy trade here gets two defenses uh, plus the cc lure so this guy's air defenses weren't quite centered in his base which helps out a lot um, so very nice there then drops two poisons just because the cc troops are kind of spread out no point wasting time just go ahead and get those poisons down get all the cc troops taken out uh, we'll fast forward just a bit as they go down. All right, and then comes in with the golem. Uh, just a tank for those defenses in the area. Drop a few wizards. Uh, just create the funnel, let the golem uh, take out that mortar along with a wizard. Then he's going to go ahead and wall break her in right next to that wizard tower. Let everything keep moving forward. Drops the king. Uh, kind of close on the king walking, but he avoids that elixir pump. The king goes in, so no worries there. Um, and then the king's going to get in there, take out the Tesla, take out the archer tower, so get some good value there some good uh, uh, point defense taken out pops the king's ability and then boom uh the giant bombs go off so it gets the double set as well i'm pretty sure this was a cleanup attack so he knew uh what he had to get done with the kill squad there uh, you can see the hogs are coming in on the right side here just kind of a surgical deployment dropping down um a heal spell they do hit quite a few spring traps plus those skellies uh, but under a heal they're able to get the job done and take out those teslas and the kind of the goal is accomplished there comes in with a few more balloons just uh some free trades on these defenses with some sprinkled hogs uh, making their way through and uh still careful deployment it doesn't want to hit uh, another giant bomb and lose too many hogs so he goes in and heals where he knows that last giant bomb is and uh, has one more heal left which i don't think he even has to deploy so uh very nice there doesn't even have to use that last heal and has plenty of hogs for cleanup plus the king the golem the wizards uh pretty much this wreck this space so awesome attack uh, to Vanilla Thunder as we fast forward uh, the last few troops take out the rest of this base. All right, we're going to take a look at number 33 after this. Just down two, looking at Smog 2, uh, and doesn't bring uh, any kind of golem or kill squad in this attack, so uh, just goes to show very, uh, very refined, I guess you could say, hog deployment coming in here. I, I think this might have been a fresh hit too. I don't think he knew where everything was and uh, a lot of times when you don't know where things are it's not worth it to bring a kill squad just because you might be taking out a part of the base that doesn't have any giant bombs and uh, you're better off kind of dropping some hogs, uh, testing for bombs, using a heal if you need it and just kind of working your way around the base because he does he has more than enough firepower it's just a matter of not hitting uh, the giant bomb with too many hogs and losing too many uh, to the double set of giant bombs in here. 
So drops the two poisons, takes out the CC. Uh, the king went down the tank, which was a pretty good trade there, so didn't have to use that many hogs to get in there and test for some giant bombs, as well as get the lure, so a uh, pretty good trade there. Now he's gonna come in with just some surgical hogs, uh, deploying a few up there. He's testing for giant bombs. Uh, obviously, uh, there's two possible spots between the wizard tower and the air defense on both sides, uh, so doesn't want to have a huge group hit that double set. Drops a heal to keep those hogs up. They're gonna make their way through, take out the Tesla, get in there to the wizard tower, and I believe you can see right here, yep, the Tesla is uh, goes off, plus a giant bomb, so knows that the double set's not there and gets the giant bomb triggered. Still has quite a few hogs, plus the CC hogs, making his way through here. At this point, he pretty much can say for certain the double sets between those two defenses, and the hogs path in very nicely, uh, triggered it one at a time, so it doesn't lose nearly any hogs to this double set, and then go ahead and get the job done. Uh, drops a few more hogs just to get the rest of the base taken out and has that third heal uh, where all the hogs converge on that wizard tower get the last few defenses taken out the king is up and there are a few skellies up uh, but has more than enough hogs that once they're done uh, they can turn around and take out the troops that are uh, beating on them and uh, that's going to be a three star so nice attack to smog too uh, pretty sure it was a fresh hit so always good to get a town hall eight cleared out on the first attack and free up some scouts so nice job there Last attack, we're gonna go all the way down to the bottom base, uh, number 35. Right here, easy Mac, taking on 35 and doing it with uh, some golems uh, and some quake spells. So knows where the double set is, I believe. Just gonna make his way in there by the wizard tower and get it taken out. Uh, has a few wall breakers to let everything on in to that big compartment he just opened up, dropping down some wizards. Uh, I'm going to drop down a few wall breakers in just a moment to uh, let everything on in. Uh, funnel's created very nicely here, nice wide funnel. Knows the king's not going to stray on him, so goes ahead and drops the king down. Let him make his way on through. A few more wizards just to back it up. I like dropping the wizards there. Uh, has the golems, so might as well just let the wizards get the benefit of all that tanking and get some more DPS, especially with the P.E.K.K.A. and the CC. Uh, it's really going to help them get through the P.E.K.K.A. quickly. Uh, the king pops the ability in just a moment. To let him get through the quick the P.E.K.K.A. a little bit quicker as well as take out some of those Teslas so ability goes off takes out the defensive king uh, plus those Teslas and then I believe the giant bombs are over on the left there so pretty much negated the double set it's by that air defense on the left there so uh, it's not an issue the hogs do hit a single bomb but it doesn't kill too many of them because they're under a heal there uh, comes in with a big group of hogs at the top there and they're just going to make their way through this base only one giant bomb left up. It's kind of in a bad positioning, so not going to be a, uh, too big of an issue. That one golem triggers it right there, so goes ahead and drops the heal. Doesn't even really need the heal, but um, goes ahead and does it anyway. A uh, few skellies still up, but the hogs will turn around and take those out. This base is pretty much done for uh, time. Not that big of an issue because he has so many hogs for cleanup, plus those wizards making their way around the outside. Uh, they're going to get the three star, so nice job to Easy Mac uh, getting the three star on the bottom base. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this recap of the war. Very fun war, win or lose. Uh, so hopefully have another arranged one coming up soon for you guys. And I'll try to record as much of it as I can. But like I said, drop some questions in the comments. And I'll be sure to answer those in my next Q&A video. That's going to do it though, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, Secretron out.